Hey, what's happening, guys? It's springtime, and that means Dollar General and Family Dollar have out all of their solar goodies. And uh, my aunt, actually, she's my great aunt, her birthday's coming up this weekend, and she likes these kind of things. So I bought some, and we're going to tear one down, take a look inside, and I think we're going to modify them a little bit to make them special for her. So here's one I had charged up, and you can see it's got a nice faceted look to it with a cool white LED. And they're pretty simple, they're, they're just plastic. That's metal. Quarter turn, and this nice globe comes off. And then we're left with the LED here and the circuitry. So I think what we're going to do is tear one of these down, see what makes it tick, and then we'll take a couple of them and maybe change out for some uh, some yellow or some blue, maybe even a red LED or two, just uh, make it a little bit more interesting. So it looks like all we've got here are two screws holding this together. We'll get that off real easy. And see if we can spudge this thing out of here. Hmm. There we go. Boink. Out comes one number, number one screw. Okay, so now we can get a look at the circuitry that's inside of here. So here we have our, our solar cell. And then the power's coming down here to this board. And We've got this interesting little chip here. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in and see what it is. I don't know, can you guys read that? Okay, the chip is called a 5252F, and it's an LED driver chip. I couldn't really find too much info on it. But if we take a look here, there's our, ch our, our chip. We have a uh, light sensor here, our battery here, our solar here for charging. Over here we have our LED. Can't quite tell what that is. And we have an inductor. Oh, I wonder if that's the switch. It's hard to tell. So it's a, it's a pretty simple circuit. And I think we'll have no trouble changing out one of the LEDs because luckily they're marked plus and minus. So I'm going to fire up the soldering iron and the desoldering iron and we'll swap out that LED for a custom color. All right, the first thing we're going to do to desolder that might seem a little counterintuitive, but we're going to add a little bit of leaded solder to it because this unleaded solder stuff is just pure crap. Oops. Okay. Next, we'll bring out the desoldering iron. And hopefully, we'll get that LED out real nice and easy. Or not. <laughs> I 
that leaded solder may be a little more tricky to get out of there than I had originally imagined. But hey, I think we've just about got it. Come on, work with me here. All right, I have to grab the regular iron here for this one little maneuver. I've got wires and cables and everything all over the place here. Oh, it really is not wanting to come out. All right, there we go. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we got her all nice and desoldered. Got our yellow LED here. And I've cut some of the smallest heat shrink that I have. Because that's what they used with some heat shrink. Now all we got to do, whoops, is solder it in. Hang on. Okay, this is turned into a little bit of a chore. But we'll get her. We'll solder that one in like that. Heat it up, then I can press the other one in while the first one cools down. That holds it in place. Now I can get the iron. Oh, just about burnt myself on the desoldering iron there. Okay. I think we've got it. Nip off any extra here. I don't think we have any solder bridges. So we should be able to put that back down in there. Mm. <laughs> Hard to get my fingers all going in the right direction here. Okay, so now hmm. not quite. Give me a second. Okay, I think I got it this time. The switch sits on these little studs like so and then this goes in over top like so and then assuming I lined everything up correctly we can put our screws back in And we should be in business. All right. Put the globe back on it. And there we go. Turn out the light here. And now we have a nice yellow sparkly one. Very nice. The 
so that's it. Auntie Barbara's birthday present. Nice little solar LED lights. And as you can see, they are dirt cheap. Neat little circuit in there for two bucks. You know, hey, probably worth it for the price of the circuit board. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to each and every one of you, especially my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.